You're riding up the chairlift at your favorite ski resort. It's a bluebird day. The air is crisp and the snow is soft. As you watch the skiers carve the pristine slopes below, you notice one that stands above the rest. Everything about this skier's positioning is perfect. And they look perfect as they effortlessly dance down the mountain. You immediately feel a sense of respect for them. But more than that, you want to ski like that yourself. It just seems so much more enjoyable. What is the secret? How can you ascend the ranks of skiers and become a local legend? There is quite a bit of variability among skiers across many disciplines. Some mount their skis forward, while others mount them back. Some keep their legs close together, while others are squarely shoulder width apart. Some carve, while others slash and pivot. Yet there's one thing that all expert skiers do from every discipline across the board. The question is, how can you go from skiing like this to skiing like this? Today, we're diving deep into the most crucial technique for improving your skiing prowess, your shins forward pressure on the ski boot. This pressure enables an athletic forward stance, bringing the arms forward and the head up. Let's be clear, we don't wanna be leaning too far over the skis, but because skiers travel at speed downhill, it is much easier to fall into a pattern of having their weight too far back than it is to have the weight too far forward. Having you shins pressing against the top of the boot is the first step in the forward athletic stance that defines skiers across all disciplines. Whether you're a beginner hitting the slopes for the first time, an intermediate already tackling blue slopes, or even an advanced skier who can handle blacks, mastering forward pressure will make all the difference in your skiing performance. Simply put, there has never been a good skier who hasn't dialed in a forward stance. While you can still ski in the back seat, you'll never look good doing it. Moreover, you'll be putting yourself at risk of injury, particularly injuries of the connective tissues of the knees, including ACL tears. Let's start by understanding why forward pressure is so vital. Specifically, your shin's forward pressure engages your ski's edges, giving you more control and precision as you begin to carve. However, when you lean forward into your boots, you shift your center of gravity allowing you to keep the entire weight of your body forward instead of back in your skis. Having your weight forward allows a ski to initiate turns more effectively and maintain better balance on the slopes. The fact that forward shin pressure will enable you to both easily carve and keep your weight forward makes it the single most essential tip for skiers. Carving is undoubtedly the most important technique for the majority of skiers, and it's impossible without forward boot pressure. Fortunately, carving naturally follows forward boot pressure. Think of your ski boots as the connection between your body and skis. By pressuring your shins against your boots, you're essentially telling your skis where you wanna go and how you wanna move. It's like steering a car, except you're gliding down a snowy mountain. Articulating your ankles and engaging the skis edges becomes the next natural step in the progression. Moreover, most other good techniques naturally follow forward pressure because it shifts your whole body forward. For example, you've always heard that having your hands forward is essential. Well, try keeping forward pressure on your boot top and not having your hands forward. It just doesn't feel right. The same goes for keeping the legs bent and in an athletic position. Once you apply forward pressure, it's nearly impossible not to have your legs bent unless you're able to look like a ski jumper from the early 1900s. Head positioning is yet another technique that naturally follows forward pressure. It is important to keep your head up and eyes looking straight ahead at the slopes. Forward pressure equates to the forward position of the upper body, which equates to excellent head positioning. Now let's discuss how you can hone your forward stance. Overall, I found that the most effective way for most skiers is to ski down the mountain and focus solely on pressing their shins against the front of their boots. Don't worry about your head, hands, or weight positioning. All that will eventually follow. The key is to become accustomed to feeling your shins flexing your ski boot while you ski. But how long does it take to get the hang of a forward stance? Most importantly, you'll have to practice to get better. They say it takes 10,000 hours to master a hobby, which equates to decades on the slopes, even if you ski 100 days a year. However, focused practicing can speed the process along significantly, and motivated skiers will start to feel comfortable in their stance within days. In particular, 
Drills and exercises designed to reinforce this technique are effective if you can stomach spending your ski vacation practicing drills. Start by practicing basic movements on flat terrain, focusing on leaning forward into your boots and feeling the pressure on the front of your shins. Keep your upper body relaxed and aligned with your lower body, allowing fluid movements and smooth transitions between turns. As you gain confidence, challenge yourself with more advanced drills on steeper terrain. Remember, the key here is to focus on the sensation of driving your movements forward from your boots rather than relying solely on your poles or upper body. If you can find a race course on your local mountain, you can practice forcing yourself to maintain forward pressure as you carve through the gates. Another way to improve a forward stance is by practicing one-legged skiing drills. Start by skiing on one ski while lifting the other leg off the ground, focusing on maintaining forward pressure and stability on the standing ski. As you become more comfortable, switch legs and repeat the drill on the other ski. You'll find skiing on one ski impossible without having good forward pressure on your ski boot. This exercise strengthens your muscles and improves your balance and proprioception, making it easier to maintain a forward stance in more challenging conditions like low light. If you don't feel you can master a forward stance alone, don't hesitate to seek professional instruction. A certified ski instructor can provide personalized feedback and guidance that goes way beyond the scope of a YouTube video. Specifically, they can offer insights and corrections in real time, helping you make those immediate adjustments to your technique. You may be asking yourself, can anyone master this first step to becoming a great skier? The answer may not be what you're hoping for. Unfortunately, you won't be able to become a great skier without a reasonable level of fitness. However, pumping iron at the gym or going for long runs isn't necessarily going to help your skiing either. For all you city gym rats out there, big arm and chest muscles will only make it more difficult to maintain a forward stance on the slopes. You'll want to focus on your buttocks, quads, and abdomen, as well as your flexibility. Incorporate exercises like yoga or Pilates into your routine to improve core strength, flexibility, and balance, ultimately enhancing your ability to maintain forward pressure on the slopes. Squats and leg presses can strengthen your quads and gluteus maximus, the body's largest muscles. Strong legs make it easier to maintain a forward stance for an extended period, as required by skiing. When your legs, butt, and core are fit, you'll be able to catch your weight from falling back in your skis when conditions become marginal. Lastly, let's discuss some gear choices concerning forward pressure. Is there equipment to mellow out the learning curve? While you can't just buy your way into good technique, gear choice can make a difference in technique. Forward pressure is precisely why ski boots come with a wide range of flex ratings. Beginner boots tend to be the most flexible, with ratings around 60 to 80. Meanwhile, downhill racing boots can be rated around 150. Basically, as skiers get better, they naturally strive to apply more and more forward pressure on their boots to maintain control. As the boots become stiffer, they can be less comfortable. Good skiers don't mind this, but beginners who don't have the technique dialed in will prefer a softer boot. Experts will apply too much forward pressure to be able to ski in these soft boots. They'll require a higher flex rating. The higher the flex rating, the more forward pressure you can apply before the boot caves under your force. Therefore, stiffer boots will allow you to press your shins more tightly and ultimately ski harder. Another critical aspect is boot fitting. A well-fitted boot will conform precisely to the shape of the foot and won't allow the heel to slosh around with the boot while skiing. A tight fit makes it much easier to apply forward boot pressure constantly. The downside is that these boots are often less comfortable and require special boot fitters to ensure the foot remains comfortable within such a tight space. Rather than spending money on stylish outerwear or a luxury hotel on your next vacation, consider investing in quality ski boots and liners from a custom boot fitter. For less advanced skiers, a shorter ski may also make it easier to consistently apply forward pressure. Smaller skis are far easier to turn, making it easier to shed speed and maintain balance rather than getting pushed into the back seat. As skiers progress and desire higher speeds, they'll gravitate toward longer skis for more stability. Check out our channel for our recent video on the real difference between short and long skis. So there you have it, folks. The forward pressure of your shins to boot top is the number one technique for improving your skiing. Practice diligently and stay focused. 
you'll be mastering new techniques and carving up the slopes like a pro before you know it. Skiers will stop to watch you on the slopes and gaze down at you from the chairlifts. Not only will you be proud of your own skiing, but you'll also become an inspiration for the next generation of skiers looking to take their craft to the next level. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more skiing tips and tricks.